Welcome to the Leaky MOSFET channel. Today, we are going to show you how to split extracted firmware into system BIOS and EC firmware. Sometimes system BIOS and EC firmware are combined. When you extract firmware for inside flash firmware, this is automatically done for you. However, extra steps are necessary for other brands like HP. For this task to be successful, we are going to do four different tasks. 1. Download BIOS update of HP 15D013CA. 2. Extraction. Extract firmware from BIOS update utility. 3. Decryption. We will decrypt the extracted stock firmware of HP 15D013CA. 4. We will split the extracted firmware into system BIOS and EC firmware. Let's proceed to our first task. Open your browser. Search for driverguide.com. Search for HP 15D013CA, then click Enter. Select the second on the list. Scroll and locate the file name sp77233.exe. Then click the file name that will redirect you to the download page. Download should start automatically. Now, let's proceed to task number 2. We will extract the downloaded BIOS update file. Locate the downloaded BIOS update of HP 15D013CA. Open BIOS Creator, we are going to extract the downloaded BIOS update of HP 15D013CA. In your BIOS Creator, select the stock firmware tools and select the HP button. A new window will pop up that will allow you to drag and drop the files that we downloaded. Next, select the EXE file and drag it to the HP BIOS window. The Extract button will become available. Then hit the Extract button. A new files will become available at the same folder location. After you extract the bin or FD file, just drag the bin or FD file to the BIOS extractor. The software will notify you if the file requires further processing. As you can see, I will drag all the extracted firmware to the BIOS extractor and all of them are firmware that needs further processing. Next, we are going to look at the combined EC and system BIOS firmware size because the extracted firmware size must be higher than the valid size. And as you can see, the FD file is 5602 kilobytes and the valid firmware size is 5120 kilobytes. The bin file is 8963 kilobytes and the valid firmware size is 8320 kilobytes. So we are going to use the two extracted files for decryption. Let's proceed to task number 3. We will decrypt the extracted stock firmware. Again, in your BIOS creator, select stock firmware tools and select the HP button. New window will pop up. Drag the FD file to the HP BIOS window, and as you can see that the FD file is encrypted. You will also notice that the decrypt button will become available. Select the decrypt button. A new bin file will be created. Next, drag the bin file to the HP BIOS window. You can also see that the bin file is encrypted and the decrypt button will become available. So we are going to select the decrypt button. And a new bin file will become available at the same folder location. Now, let's look again at the valid firmware size to check if this extracted firmware is now valid firmware size. As you can see, 
The O218D leaky MOSFET dot bin has a firmware size of 8192 kilobytes after decryption. You can also see that the valid firmware size for system BIOS is 8192 kilobytes, so it means that this extracted firmware is now a valid system BIOS firmware. Then the extracted stock firmware is now ready to be flashed using an SPI programmer. Next, we are going to look at the O218B leaky MOSFET.bin, and the extracted stock firmware size is 5120 kilobytes. The valid firmware size for combined EC and system BIOS is also 5120 kilobytes. So this extracted stock firmware is a combined EC and system BIOS. Then we are going to proceed to task number 4. We will split the extracted firmware into system BIOS and EC firmware. Again, in your BIOS creator, select stock firmware tools and click the HP button. A new window will pop up. Drag the extracted bin file to the HP BIOS window. You will notice that the software has automatically detected that the extracted firmware is a combined system and EC firmware. Now select the split BIOS button. Again, a new window will pop up. Select the extracted firmware and drag it to the split stock EC and BIOS window. The software will also detect if the firmware is valid for splitting. Then click the split button. Two new bin files will be created at the same folder location. Let's look again at our valid firmware size chart. As you can see this bin file has a 1024 kilobytes firmware size and the valid firmware size for EC firmware is also 1024 kilobytes. So this extracted firmware is now a valid EC firmware. Next, this other bin file has a 4096 kilobytes, and as you can see from our valid firmware chart of system BIOS, a valid firmware size is also 4096 kilobytes. So this extracted firmware is now a valid firmware for system BIOS. We have now successfully performed the splitting of extracted firmware of HP 15D013CA into system BIOS and EC firmware. If you have more questions about the valid firmware size, you can also visit www.bioscreator.com slash manual slash valid firmware size. You can also download the BIOS Creator at www.bioscreator.com or follow the link in the description. Download your copy now. If you have more questions, you can also visit our support forum by typing support.leakymosfet.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.